Mega Maniacs, this is Mr. Mega Man fan with Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and I want to test this out on my Nintendo DS. My first memory of this game is actually a commercial that made me absolutely livid because the person who did the voiceover for the commercial had clearly never played a Mario game because he kept saying Mario and Sonic. Like, excuse me? Even when you play the games, he goes, It's a me, Mario. He doesn't go, It's a me, Mario. There's no May in Mario. Anyway, it looks like we've got a tested and working game here. And let's try to get into the game itself. Oh, we've got some old records on here. Allison A7, Jake the Snake Roberts. I'm pretty amused by that. Okay, let's try jake the snake and see what this previous user of mario and sonic at the olympic games put in here but here's a few quick factoids about the game as i'm testing it out and seeing what records are in here the game was trademarked in 2006 released in 2008 it features 16 playable characters from the mario and sonic universes 24 olympic and dream events for up to four players, but if you want to play more than two players, you need the Nintendo DS in each player's hand, and you need multiple cards for the game. You can do single events by download play, but to play multiple players, you need multiple copies of the game. So then again, it may not be that hard to find multiple copies of the game because I got this one off eBay for just four bucks. So. Out of the entire Mario and Sonic franchises, this game does not exactly seem to be in high demand. It's interesting that they trademarked it in 2006 and it didn't come out till 2008. I mean, it is for the 2008 Beijing Olympics, but at the same time, that either says they were working on it for two years knowing they planned to release it for the Olympics, or that says everything in here was two years old and they just sat on it until the Olympics came around. Either way, I don't know, but I suppose somebody like the gaming historian, Norm the gaming historian, would probably know exactly what the development cycle was, or maybe that Team Badnik YouTube channel I follow, the one who did the incredible research into the Sonic statue in the forest in Japan or China or wherever it was. I think it was Japan. But he found a Sonic the Hedgehog statue in the middle of nowhere with the paint peeling off of it. And they actually managed to figure out how it wound up there. I think the name of the channel was Badnik Mechanic, actually. Not Team Badnik. I don't know why I thought Team Badnik. I've got Sonic on the brain, people. Anyway, what I'm finding here is that I can't play table tennis single-handed because I can't film it and press both the D-pad and the buttons at the same time. So... At least I know it works, so I'll end the video here. This is Mr. Mega Man Fan saying thank you for watching.